Well, hello, good evening, and welcome to Stitches and Jacks. My name is Karen. I live in the northwest of England. I'm an empty nester, and I have, with my husband, um, we have um, three children, five granny babies, and five Jack Russells. Wow. This is about the third video that I filmed this afternoon. Um, because I just got a bit behind and I thought I'd better crack them out now otherwise they won't go up um, and I'm very good at talking myself out of things. I started with Christmas in July. I filmed last year and I had such a good time that I thought oh, I definitely want to do it uh, this year and I like a mixture of um, crafts. I was a knitter primarily I seem to be going down a crochet rabbit hole. I like quilting and I do like sewing, but and I've dabbled in dressmaking. But I haven't really made myself anything. Yes, I have. Tell them. Bookie bye. I made myself, uh, I did make myself a dress and it turned out really well, apart from the fact it had a collar on it and I'd used the wrong interfacing. So it's really stiff, <laughs> like a vicar's collar. <laughs> so I've never worn it. Um, so yeah, so at the moment I am on a crochet journey, um, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it and this is the final episode for the Deck the Halls collab um, and I fell into this in week two because I was um, talking about Christmas and July projects and one of the projects I wanted to make was a blanket that is actually being made by Terry at Yarnjoy. And this collab is by um, Terry, but it was originally hosted by Terry from Yarnjoy, Kim from oh my, Kim from the um um the nomad oh it's not the nomad, it is the nomad, but there's something else. Oh my word, menopause has really hit me this last week. My brain and my mouth are not working in sync. Sync. I think I'm making sense by talking a load of rubbish. <laughs> um, and Ella, Ella from No Catchy Name podcast. Oh, I hope I've got that right. <laughs> Forgive me, ladies, but we were encouraged as crafters, just to jump on the sleigh. Normally, I would have just let it pass me by. One, I would have said, said to myself, I'm already trying to do this Christmas in July. Um, my projects, yeah, I can't take anything else on because I like to try, <laughs> I like to try and keep it within reason. <laughs> Sometimes I fall off, as many of my lovely viewers all know. And it always seems to happen in the summertime, so I don't know, perhaps the sun addles my brain, but there's no sun in July anyway, I don't think. <laughs> Um, so I really wanted to have a go at Aragurumi and I've made, I'm looking over there again, at uh, I've made two tough ladies from the history of women, that beautiful queen, Queen Elizabeth, who passed away last year. God, it's nearly a year, nearly a year, because we're in August, it's, I don't know if I said that, it's Friday the 4th of August and I think I was putting my, my I'm up, <laughs> mine up about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> And if I don't do this today, it won't go up and then I won't have finished off. So bear with me and indulge me. And I'm really sorry if I sound a bit throaty. Um, it's having a granny baby that had a bit of a cough. I don't know whether there was too much um, kissing and cuddling going on. But these germs, are, this kind of germ is good for you. <laughs> Keeps your immune system topped up. Um, I've also made a couple, three tough monsters. But I haven't made anything teeny tiny. So I started off with a gingerbread man. And I don't know whether I've brought the correct book up. Bear with me. Oh, my word. Right, I've got that balanced on the little table. Let's have a look. Because I've been out. No, I haven't. Oh, that was pretty useless, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I think Terry, Kim and... I'm sure it's Ella. Ellie. Oh, forgive me. Uh, I think Terry and Kim and another lady, Chris, I think Chris, they used this book. Oh my word, it is super, super book. Look at all these lovely, lovely decorations. 
there are six in the collection, I think. And if you've watched any of these before, you'll know you will know all this. So there's the, the nativity set, which um, Chris is making. The North Pole, Santa Claus, Kim's making them, blinging them all up. Oh my word! I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying watching the ladies. Sweet treats, which I think Terry's making. Animal friends. Also, baby's first Christmas. And I think I was supposed to. Um, I think you didn't have to use that book. You could use any sort of Christmas decorations. And like anything, it evolves. So there's been Christmas decorations, Christmas ornaments, home decor, um, all sorts. It's fabulous, fabulous inspiration. And because they're small enough, just gives you time to, you know, just have a little go. So I started off with the gingerbread man and I was using um, the Rikarami yarn by Rico. You, yeah, can you see that? Oops, there, in front of my face. Is that better? <laughs> you get the gist. It's a uh, DK um, cotton and I had never worked with cotton either. So Alfred was going on holiday and as his grandma I couldn't bear him not having a present so I thought what could I make him that he could kind of fit in his pocket kind of thing that won't be too big in the suitcase so I made him a gingerbread man which was part of the collection oh do you know what I think I was out with my friend so I think I took the book to show them and it's probably still in the bag that shows how organized I am staying I'm not organized because I want to try and get these up and then I've got to go do some editing and then I have to do some packing because I'm going away tomorrow um just overnight I'm going to the, I'm going to the quilt show in Birmingham and I couldn't make Benjamin one because he's crackers on the gingerbread story so I made one for uh, for Benjamin as well but two oh, what's happened to his eye it was... I don't know if that's too much cuddling by little ones so I made another one for Benjamin and to differentiate between the two, I've got green buttons. But it's quite surprising to see them together. <laughs> I'm not very good at faces. Obviously tried really hard for Fred, but I forgot for Benjamin. I just kind of tried to copy the pattern. So two little gingerbread men and they are so cute, super cute. And I think <laughs> I have another, another one that's been requested by Alfie. And then a bit of a challenge for me was the snowman. Oh my word, look at them. Isn't he lovely? And he's going to be for my mum. She is snowman crazy. Anything with a snowman, she's there. She's on it. Oh, now how am I going to? I don't want him to fall off, really. Oh, I sound like um, a country singer. <laughs> and then, oh, let me just put the... Um, the halo one. Right, wait a minute, how did I have it? I had it balanced on the hair as it was in a pamphlet. And this is like oh, wait a what's this in there as well? Let's have a look. Oh I don't know now. Now I've done it. I'll have to hold it, I have to hold it on. So I made the angel. Da -da. Oh my word, so proud of her. I wouldn't have thought I could have ever have made anything like that. And it was a bit, excuse me, put my hands out the back of your dress. Yeah, oh my word, isn't she gorgeous? Just love her ringlets. So I have all of those made. So you will understand why I went off at a tangent. I think it was the fact that I made the gingerbread man. It wasn't particularly difficult, but I was like, oh my word, oh my word, I've made it, I've made it right. What can I make next? I didn't intend to make all of them, but um, yes. So that's all my Rikarami. And I really fell in love with... Um, the nativity scene, the nativity decorations. Now I always imagine Mary to be in blue, but she has a, I think, a white veil and blue dress, traditionally. So I had a go at these. 
And I did get a little bit distracted by um, the Christmas project that I was starting on and I got a bit of a pickle with it. And I finished these last Monday um, and I didn't have any more Rikarami eyes. I thought, oh, well, I'm going out to the yarn shop, I'll pick some up. But they've gone. Obviously, everybody's making little um, projects for uh, Christmas in July. And then I asked my daughter if she had any. She had bought me a box. Can I tell you where they are? <laughs> no, I can't. I really can't um, tell you where they are. I had all my, I have a wardrobe in my daughter's room. So I had everything out, I was looking. I couldn't find it. So I said, all lovely. I didn't lend you. <laughs> I didn't lend you any eyes, did I, for any toys? <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing because she knew what I was saying. No, Mum, I didn't. You didn't. You didn't. I said, you, have you got any? So she was like, I have. I'll bring them. So she arrived on Thursday. She forgot them. <laughs> so this is why my video's been so late this week, because I was kind of waiting for her so that I could sew my eyes on. So I thought, right, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? So I've sewn them on. Um, and if they're going on the tree and I've got little ones around, maybe that is like a good thing <laughs> to um, sew the decorations. So this is my... Oh. I need to tell you about the yarn first of all, don't I? So I was going to see my good friend, Jeanette. Now where have I put my bow? Oh, bear with me. This isn't very good, is it? Not professional. Right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I've run all the way downstairs, come back. I think it was in my office, it was in the kitchen, like on the couch. And it wasn't, it's behind me. <laughs> oh my word, I don't know. What it is this last week, <coughs> and I forgot my glasses. Where are they? Well, that was a disorganised mumble jumble. <laughs> so I went to Black Sheep Walls last week, my favourite um, commercial yarn shop. It's one of two. And speaking to my friend Jeanette from Crafty Clegg's Creations. And I wanted some advice. So I had taken this yarn, taken this big bag. I've got another one. Yes. I had taken this yarn because I, it's it's this, this is the label. So it's Oxford Cotton. And yeah, it's called Eco Cotton. And I'd made it, but it was a bit, um, not scratchy and not clumpy, but... I don't know it was just a bit weird <laughs> so um she said it was too even though it says DK, dk she said it's too thick um she always uses katona whatever the pattern says she always uses katona um shape is katona and she uses a 2.5 hook let me put my Um, and what's the recommended hook on here? Oh, 2.5 to 3.5. So that's that's what I used. Which I think with, well, with crocheting, to uh, crocheting toys or an item and knitting, obviously different yarn, yarn weight you use is going to come out differently. So I'm aware that some of the ladies have made these, so mine is not going to look as big. But this is Mary. Da-da! <laughs> Da -da! And I said, I struggle with the art, with the faces, and I struggle putting the limbs on toys and things in in the sense of that they are symmetrical. But there she is, and I'm really pleased with her, really pleased with her. So I'm really happy, really happy with Mary. And it was dead easy to do, dead easy to do, and I like her eyes. Yeah, I do like her eyes. Oh, it's trying to have them fo having trouble focusing. And then I made baby Jesus. <laughs> I haven't got any, whatever the hooks are called, um, big enough. I've only got really tiny ones. So I've just put these on for the time being. And I've decided that um, I need to go to Hobbycraft oh, look at my hair. <laughs> and um, pick up a... A small tree. I have a large one, but I just want a small tree up there. 
It's baby Jesus. Oh, isn't he cute? Oh, he's going to turn around. Oh, because I haven't got it right. <laughs> so he's, there's baby Jesus. And there's his mum. And they are, ah, oh, they're lovely. It looks like he's got a big head though. But babies do have big heads, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> so I have two. So I'd like to make Joseph. Oh my word, I can't on such a journey with these. Yeah, I'm having a problem with one of my projects, my blanket. I don't feel like I've achieved anything on that. But I look at all these, I'm like, oh my word. Yes, yeah, so I've got Mary and baby Jesus, if I can hold those and get my book. I would like to do Joseph. Oh, of course he would be on the other side, wouldn't he? So Joseph is there with the blue, but I fancy doing Joseph in the green. Um, so I think I'm... Can you see him? Yeah. Yay. So I'm definitely going to do Joseph. So even if I only have the three for Christmas, at least that's three more than I had. So yeah, super, super chuffed with these. And I think they are... I was about to say bauble size but yeah you can have any type of bauble can't you but they're lovely so if you if you fancy having a go have a go at these yeah they're beautiful absolutely beautiful really really like this book you could do loads and loads of that book so i'm very happy very happy with that and also very happy i finished in the sense of i'm happy that i've achieved it I'm delighted that I got on the um, on the on the sleigh for that, and I'm gonna put my other stuff away. I'm looking over there because I'm speaking to you over there today, and I'm wearing the same blouse in about three videos. <laughs> so, um, and I'm looking forward to starting some autumn projects. So, I need to. What have I got? One. I've got two pairs of socks on the go. One that's a vanilla. And one that is Stephen West, and I just don't think I've got the brain power tonight to do it. It's just the toe. But I think I would appreciate sitting <laughs> um, and not having to do anything else. Um, I've got to empty my phone, for the, empty my camera, my phone tomorrow, and um, so that I can take some footage. But I thought, right, I need a, a new pair of socks. <laughs> so I've pulled this out. Isn't that autumnal? So, and also, look. I didn't even know that's what it was called. Autumn leaves. So I'm going to uh, start that tonight. But I've got to go and edit this so this can go up. Um, one's up, yeah, Christmas in July. I think that's gone up today, part two. And then I've got the final part that's going to go up on Monday or Tuesday. This is going to go up tomorrow. And I've got a quilting one. Yeah, and then I think I'll ease back into it I am determined determined to keep filming regularly but maybe not <laughs> a few days at a time yeah once a fortnight probably would be nice maybe with another one thrown in I don't know <laughs> right my lovies if you have joined in on the uh, collaboration let me know I will put the people that I know down below but if you go on to Kim's the I was going to say the naughty nomad, the crafty nomad, the crafty nomad. Oh, sorry, Kim, if you're watching. <laughs> if you go onto her Facebook page and Terry's, I think they have got like a full list because it's just snowballed. But it's been so much fun. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? When we craft, we see somebody else um, or we start something and then we see something else. We just join in. So thank you very much, ladies, for letting me join in. I've had an absolute ball um, and I would never have made those things. So thank you. And I will see you, all of you soon. So take care, keep crafting and let me know. Speak to you soon. Bye.